to make a paper squirrel, you need the construction paper, scissors, glue, and crayons. Now the size of your squirrel depends on the size of your construction paper. This piece is six by four. You fold it in the middle and then <clears throat> I'll draw this so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut out a big U shape and this will make the legs and the body. Now, so that I can glue the head and the tail on, I'm going to cut a slit on the fold part right here and one here. I just drew a line so you could see. I'm going to cut it and cut it here. Now, on each one of these, I'm going to fold back so that we'll have a place to glue and do the same on the other end. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is make the head. <coughs> the squirrel's head is basically a triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle. Now, the triangle that's just too harsh for, for a face. So we want to we want to round out this end and we want to make triangle ears. They have little ears that sit on the top of their head. Now when I cut this out, I'll turn it to the other side so that my lines won't show. so that it looks like this. Make some eyes. Let's see. make the inside of the ears and if you want to make a little nose or a little mouth or whiskers then you're ready to glue on the head. Put the glue on this part on the flat part so that you have something to glue it against The tail is basically a big teardrop shape. Let's see, let me turn it this way so you can. It's just a big teardrop shape. you've cut the tail out, you want to fringe it like this. It's always a good idea to start at the top. So if you're going to have any gaps left in your fringing, they'll be at the bottom and they won't show. You can curl it around a crayon or around your finger. You don't want a lot of curl in it, just a little, so that you can glue it together like this. And there you have your paper squirrel.